I think um, the post post colonial topic is a very important topic for me um, because all these levels of definitions and descriptions that we are using uh, are primarily uh, coming from a, uh, from of the colonization uh, in a cultural level so um, I feel my work uh, is is in a good context here in this project is about uh, invasion yeah two different kind of invasions process that happened from Europe to America and from America to Europe so there is actually a war going on in these two levels and um, what I am presenting here is uh, the last stage uh, let's say about this war or a kind of strategy to to fulfill um, a systematically colonization of the physical and also of the sense which is actually I think this the the point that uh, I'm mostly interested in uh, when you're working with the video or sound you have um, a crossing uh, fade what is called when two channels um, are uh, fading in and faded out at the same time so uh, I took this um, to build the video the video has a lot of cross fade moments but also um, thematizing when an species is coming into a medium uh, another species another species are like faded out For all of us, to be being on Earth is a problem. Uh, I mean, um, that the base there are the basics of philosophy, um, and uh, I'm focused. I'm focusing very strongly in representations. This is uh, I believe that we are interacting with our surroundings through representations. So we build representations and we transform what we see uh, also into representations and in a way to use it as a tool for interaction. So we interact all the time with our surroundings through representations. Language is one of the important, most, most important uh, representations tools that we have as a navigation system. So, um, my blog is, um, especially this, uh, this blog uh, is focusing on a, a specific uh, work I'm doing um, has to do with uh, languages and uh, where I'm trying to define things, like creating definitions of, of things. Uh, because only through definitions, this is my belief, you can create new things. This sentence actually is a, is a, uh, is a quotation from an um, Argentinian uh, writer called um, Bioy Casares. And uh, I don't remember if he said that trying to define what is a paradise or what is a utopia but I took it and appropriated this sentence for me 
as a definition of paradise or utopia. This is the, I mean, for you, the definition that you have for paradise could be the hell for me, you know? And then your dreams could be really a nightmare for me. So the intention trying to build paradise in utopia is a very, it's a very dangerous uh, thing. Could be like um, you can trans transform your ideology in into a dictatorship, or uh, could be uh, a tyr tyrannic way trying to build a better world. But what is a better world? A better world for you is not the same as a better world for me. So your dreams could be my nightmares, or the other way around. My dreams could be your nightmares. This is part of a, of a series of signs I writing, like statements. I believe we are living in a, in a time where everything what we do is neoliberal. I think today art is mainly a neoliberal art, which is mean if you like to do art, just do it, do it now, or maybe in two years you decide to do, to do other things and uh, to change. Well, I don't think that art is an option. Art is an imperative. You do art because you need to do art, because you don't have an option to choose should I do art or should I do design or should I do architecture? No, it's not.